Hello and welcome to a Clockwork Burrito. We are going to be playing a very, very special game in the survival horror genre. Such a freaking cool intro! So how's everyone doing? This is Forbidden Siren, a very unique survival horror game. And I don't know if you noticed, but during the intro it kind of sounded like, what was it? Those those audio recordings taken in, at the sea, or I don't, I don't remember what organization, but it kind of sounded like that, uh, what was it, the Julie uh, sound effect. Yeah, I'm talking about something I really don't remember. So anyways, let's start our new game. Let's get this started. I won't be talking during the cutscene, so I'll explain everything in this game a little bit later. Because think of this as also a 100% walkthrough. So here we go. Look at that face. Alright, I'll shut up. What is she doing? Not you. Who is it? What are they doing? Uh, it's the middle of the night. Who's there? Hmm? Who is it? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. So, tutorial, mission, or stage, whatever. Escape for the police officer. Cause the guy is just drunk off his ass and he's trying to kill us. What? Why? No! Oh, oh my god! It's he's coming! Ah! <laughs> All right. So like I said, 100% walkthrough. Which means we'll be collecting all 50 archives, but we won't be doing that until like a bonus video. So I won't be collecting them right now. So here's one thing that's very unique about this game. Uh, that guy um, is a terrible shot. Uh, here we are. A car key is laying on the table. Press the triangle button to access the list menu. Yeah, we can't just prick it up with X. We gotta go into this list menu here where it says shout or pick up. So we pick it up. It's the car keys. So let's go back outside, turn off a flashlight because yes, they can't see you if your flashlight is on or if you make too much noise. Oh, I'm trying to get a good look on this guy. He thinks this is so funny. I, I, the sensitivity is through the roof. So yeah, there you go, there's that guy. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I'm probably thinking, what do we have to do? Um, we can't hide in here because it's locked. And um, 
safety first. <laughs> yeah, we're at some construction site, so. Apparently I got shot, but <laughs> there you go. We have to unlock the door by going into the list menu. Unlock the door. Open the door and get in. Sheesh. And that's just for show. The ignition is below the steering wheel. Press triangle button to Insert key, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> now I have to turn the key too. S see what I mean? <laughs> oh. Boom. Now he's down for the count. Yeah, we just killed someone. Mission accomplished. We'll be talking about that little link navigator in a second. Excuse me? Are you okay? Hello? Oh my god! What do I do? Call an ambulance? An earthquake! He ain't human no more. On to the next level. Yes. That's easier said than done. Are you all right? I, I, I just got shot, but... I understand. Listen, you have to come with me. You're not safe here. Yeah, I know. They're... Follow me. British voice actors. I think we all know that already. Reach road to Kurawai. Or Karawai. There you go. With Hasako Yao. This red water is now coursing through your veins. In place of all the blood you lost. Cool. You have the water to thank for your recovery. I know you're still shaky, but you will be better soon. I'm so relieved. So did I. <laughs> it was any more. Anyway, we must hurry now. Close your eyes. Relax and look for me in your thoughts. Okay, so another unique um, gameplay mechanic is sightjacking. Uh, we press the L2 button to enter sightjack mode. And you push the left analog stick in the direction of the car. Yeah, basically what it says. And align it so that the image is visible. It's kind of like uh, messing around with the antenna on the TV, an old TV set. And you can press the circle X and triangle buttons to assign somebody's sight to a certain uh, button. All right, so let's try it. Yeah, 
go. Do you see yourself? That's you, from my point of view. Did you feel anything else? They are no longer human. Huh? Be careful. Alright, so let's say that some more and um some heavy breathing. That guy is carrying a rifle. I wonder what these guys could be. Let's check it out. Doing. Wait here. Come over when I call you. I'm concentrating on our surroundings. So I can't watch over you the whole time. Eventually, you'll be able to feel me calling you. Psychjacking could also be used to eavesdrop. Yeah, um, remember that. We're not going to be following her just yet. Oh, crap. Here are our enemies. The Shibito. They are basically, um, just people that want to kill you. So I went here first because we need to pick up something. <laughs> and he's gonna, like, stab me in the back. I got the key to the storeroom. So it says there at the bottom, Kiyoyo Suda, day two, at one o'clock. Requirements for mission objective two fulfilled. Ow. So that is important because There are two mission objectives for every mission in the game. So right now we're doing mission one of this stage, which is just to follow her. However, some missions, like second missions, you cannot do because you need something. It works on the whole butterfly effect, you know? So, that key there is for a later level. If I did not have that key, when I get to that level, I will not be able to do mission two. So, I don't know if you heard that, but there's a little girl just screamed on an intercom saying, Mrs. Takato, help. Yeah, we'll be getting to that later. Yeah, you could also pull people up. Nothing that... Nothing that special. Yeah. There you go. Over and here. there's the exit. So this is the end of episode one. I'll see you guys in episode two. Until then.